Outlander season 4 certainly had its highs and lows, just like every other season of the series, and any other show. Now that the season is over, it's time to look at the overall ratings. What do they mean and do they really matter? Outlander season 4 is done. We're officially into Droughtlander and yesterday was the first Sunday without an all new episode for a while. So, it's time to look back at the ratings and assess what they mean and whether they really matter. The season was certainly one with high and low points. Every fan found something different they loved and didn't love about the season. It shows how diverse this fandom is and the types of storylines we want more of. Whether we're watching for Claire and Jamie, Brianna and Roger, the action, the love story, or the growing tensions in colonial America, we all have something we enjoy more. What do the ratings mean? Did the ratings show that? Overall, the Outlander Season 4 ratings were lower than Season 3, but that's not uncommon. In fact, the Season 3 ratings were up from Season 2 and that's is something that doesn't usually happen. It shows that the third season saw new fans tune in and learn about the story. Season 4's ratings started slow, dipped in the middle and then picked up at the end. The dip in the middle can be explained by the holiday period. The lowest ratings came the Sunday before Christmas, when a lot of people would have been traveling and waiting to watch after the holiday season. The second lowest came between the premiere episode and the second episode. It could suggest that people weren't connected to the season 4 premiere, but it could also suggest that people bought the Stars subscription after realizing that the show was back, allowing them to watch online. Do the ratings matter? Something to remember is that the TV series finale ratings are taken from the Nielsen Live Plus Same Day ratings. These ratings don't include the on-demand viewings and they don't include any viewings through the Stars app. While Nielsen can track those watching live on Hulu, YouTube, and other sources, it can't track the subscribers viewing through the app. A lot of Outlander fans will tune in through the app especially since the episodes are available from midnight instead of having to wait until 8 p.m. So, the live ratings don't really mean much when you consider this fact. Plus, the series is renewed for a fifth and sixth season already. There's not too much to be concerned about when it comes to live ratings right now. 